Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are celebrating my one year anniversary here on YouTube, which is crazy to think about. So I uploaded my first video on March 26th of 2020. And yes, I was one of the many YouTube channels that was born during quarantine. Um, it was peak quarantine right when, you know, we all learned about COVID and everybody was like, stay in your house. And we were like, is the world ending? Um, and so I was really struggling um, along with the rest of the world, really struggling mentally throughout that time. And I needed an outlet, something to distract me. And starting a YouTube channel was something I've wanted to do for several years. And I just never had the courage to do it um, for fear of being ridiculed, fear of um, nasty comments and trolls. And as I've gotten older, I really don't care about that stuff. I think the, the good outweighs the bad. And I also think that the planner community inspired me because for the most part, there's always bad apples, but for the most part, the planner community is such a kind and like welcoming place. And it's very much like there's no judgment about, you know, say if someone has an Instagram account and they have 15 followers, but their spreads are incredible. Like there's no judgment like, oh, they only have 15 followers. It's like, I don't care how many followers you have. I, you know, I come to Instagram to look at planner pics and to also, you know, meet people who are interested in planners and stickers and all that stuff that I like. So um, that's another reason I came to YouTube was to just kind of share. And my goal has always been to, um, you know, hopefully inspire people with the spreads that I create, with the different projects that I do, um, because I go to other people for inspiration. So I would like to also be a source of inspiration for people. And I think um, if you're somebody who has always said, well, you know, there's really no room for me. There's all, you know, there's so many people already on YouTube. There's so many creators already like what how am I any different like the the market is flooded as people say and I just couldn't disagree more I think particularly in the planner community everyone has a unique style and you are the only you you're the only person who is you there's there's no one else that plans exactly like me that thinks like me that looks like me that talks like me like I'm unique, just like you're unique, and we all have something uh, to bring to the table. So if you have been thinking about starting, you know, an Instagram account for your planner stuff um, or a YouTube channel, just do it. Like, we want you in this community. We want more people. So that's enough rambling. Sorry about that. But today, we're going to be reacting to my very first YouTube video. This should be interesting. So I, I haven't watched this in a while. I do remember what it looks like and kind of what it sounds like, but I want to kind of um, react to it and walk you guys through what was going on behind the scenes of this first video, because there's a lot of it that I was proud of at the time. And there's a lot of it that I wasn't super happy with, but I just wanted to start. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's pull it up here. All right, y'all. Here goes nothing. This is my very first video on YouTube. It's called my very first happy planner flip through. And I used the hashtag happy planner and hashtag stay home with me. That was like a whole thing, like encouraging people to stay home. And it was a YouTube thing. Anyway, let's, let's just get into it. Hey y'all. Okay. We just have to talk. We have to talk about that intro. When I say I was so proud of that, you have no, <laughs> it's so silly. And I still think it's cool. Like I'm not, I'm not like roasting it. I, I still think it's cool, but I want to let you guys know kind of like how this came together. So I made this in Canva and I knew like I had this vision in my head of this like smoke coming down. I don't know why I had that, but it's just something I wanted. And so I just found like, a video of that in Canva and then made the text in this and I had tips, ideas, and inspiration for planner lovers. And the, the little song. It's still it's still a bop. Hey y'all. 
My name is Cassie, and I am a planner enthusiast. I love planners, I love notebooks, I love stickers, pens. Okay, so first of all, like right for that, I can tell how uncomfortable I am talking to the camera. Um, my nails look cute. I remember being like, I have to paint my nails in and out. I'm, I'm really working on it, y'all. I'm working on it. I'm actually growing them out. I'm trying to stop biting because I know it's disgusting. I had this keratin treatment that my friend Kim recommended, so I'm really trying to grow them out. But I remember, like, painting them. Like, I had to have my nails painted. And I, I just, I sound, I sound so uncomfortable. And just, like, awkward. Pens. Lots and lots of pens. Uh, you name it. I started using a happy planner specifically in 2017 and this is my very first planner my friend kim is the one who actually introduced me to happy planner shout out to kim kind of blew up on social media and we were looking at it we're like wow this is so cute and fun and like it combines everything that we like into one thing and we both decided to get one now i would like to point out that the the discs on here are not happy planner discs they are the Staples Arc Notebook System uh, discs, which also work uh, for the Happy Planner. But since this is a planner I'm not using, I didn't want to use my Happy Planner discs on it because I'm using them now. So, anyway. I Let me talk about that for a minute. So, that's funny because when I filmed this, um, I was still in the, um, I've called it on this channel before, the cult. <laughs> I was still like a happy planner stan and I felt shame for using those arc discs and not having happy planner discs like it was shameful because it was like I need to only be using happy planner and when I started this channel I had the intention of like applying for the happy planner squad and that was like all I wanted was to be on the squad and um I didn't I did apply and I made a video and uh it's interesting but um I didn't make it, thank God. But yeah, I just want to point out, like, I remember feeling shame for having those ARC discs and not having the Happy Planner discs, which those ARC discs are way better quality than Happy Planner discs anyway. Just saying. I thought it would be fun for my first video on here to show you guys what my very first Happy Planner looked like. Now, prior to having a Happy Planner, when I found the Happy Planner, I remember I showed this video to my mom. It's funny be that's really funny that bracelet I'm wearing on my right hand I'm wearing like two of them. I actually just put it on the other day. It says apple of my eye. It's actually from my mom. And I remember when I showed her this first video I made, she was like your bracelets are loud. And then I was like super self-conscious and now I never wear bracelets. I have this one, but it doesn't really one is fine, but I had like multiple and every time on that desk specifically like when I put my hand down, it was so loud. And something else that I haven't mentioned yet you see how the angle is like, it's not that true like bird's eye view top down. It's like slanted. When I say I spent days trying to get this set up right and couldn't get it right, it was so stressful. So I actually was using my DSLR camera, my Canon 70D on an old tripod. And the way that tripod is, I couldn't get it top down. Like it, it wouldn't go <laughs> for top down view. Um, so I couldn't get the angle right, so I was self-conscious about that. And also the desk just looks, like, dark. And the whole thing looks kind of dark and just, yeah. Happy Planner, it was just, like, everything I wanted. Well, uh, with uh, the vertical layout, because I had never done anything like that before. <laughs> and okay, so I've skipped ahead. I'm going to be, like, skipping around because you don't need to watch this whole thing, but... I wanted to point out, <laughs> it makes me laugh. So up here under Wednesday in that first box, how it's blurred out. When I say that I spent, this is so embarrassing. I spent probably two hours blurring stuff out uh, in this video after I filmed it. Like I didn't realize there's, there's stuff there that's like, um, it's like work stuff and like people's names and I, I didn't want that you know, on this video. So I was like, crap, I'm gonna have to blur it out. So I had to open Premiere and like sit there. I had to, I learned it right on the spot. I was like, okay, I'm gonna learn how to blur out stuff in my footage. And it took forever because there was so much. So I did learn from this. 
hey, if you're doing a flip through and there's anything that you don't want to show on camera beforehand, do your flip through and just put sticky notes over it. Just plain sticky notes. So, pro tip. And I did, this is my least favorite layout. It just doesn't work for me personally. I know plenty of people are like ride or die vertical layout people. It's just not. Okay, so what I said there is that that's my least favorite layout. What I mean is my least favorite Happy Planner layout because I hadn't tried anything other than Happy Planner. And it wasn't, because I was thinking, in my head, again, like, unless you try something, you don't know. But in my head, it was like, okay, well, since I don't like the Happy Planner vertical layout, then I just don't like vertical planning. And that's not true. Actually, just this week, I'm using a vertical Lights Planner Action insert. What I don't like about the Happy Planner vertical layout is the three separate boxes with the lines dividing it. I don't like that. I like having just one box that I can do whatever I want with it. Because I would have to go in and like use white out and then I hate how that looks and it was the boxes for me that I that I didn't like. Not vertical planning. It's not my thing. But if there's one thing I miss from vertical layouts is these stickers that fit so perfectly in these boxes. There's something so satisfying. Comment below. And again, I didn't realize like that's the standard we call it the full box size when i didn't know that at this at this time last year and so um those stickers fit perfectly in lights planner action inserts um in in a lot of of inserts that are made because that's the full box it's kind of the standard one and a half inch wide box it's just like kind of the standard so you don't have to use a vertical happy planner to have that fit perfectly. I have them fit perfectly when I use my lights planner action insert and I put that sticker right in there. So, oh my God, I remember blurring that. It was an entire like half sheet that I had put in. This is when I was doing my budgeting in my catch all planner because it was the only planner I had. <laughs> now, again, this planner is not just to clarify, this is my first happy planner. It's not. The planner I was using this time last year, it's the planner, it was my first happy planner, so it was 2017, 2018. Um, so like this time last year, I wasn't using this planner, just in case I wasn't clear. But yeah, I remember having to go in and blur this because I had all my like budget stuff in there and I just don't feel comfortable sharing that on the internet. Just me. Like I just kind of... I think it's interesting because I can tell I'm getting more comfortable speaking as the video goes on. Um which is a good thing. And I, I'm definitely a lot more comfortable now than I, than I was um, getting started. I think everybody, I mean, when you watch YouTubers react to their first videos, it's like everybody says, yeah, I was so uncomfortable because you just, you know, I've only been doing this a year, um, but you just get more comfortable the more you do it. It's just one of those things. Yo, this outro, this outro is still cool. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's it's probably cooler than the one I have now, to be honest. Um, I think it's funny that I mentioned there that I was getting my Instagram started back up again. I kind of forgot that I when I launched my YouTube was when I came back to my planner Instagram. Because I'd started that planner Instagram, I believe, in 2018. I might be wrong there. I hid a lot of my old posts because the pictures were just terrible, but <laughs> I think it was 2018 when I started my planner Instagram account. And I had forgotten that I like, I gave up on it because I was like, yeah, I don't really have time for this. I wasn't really inspired. And when I made this YouTube channel, I like came back again, being in quarantine, well, what else am I going to do? And I was, I was looking for an outlet and I wanted to you know, I had all this extra time, like I didn't have to wake up early and commute to work and then, you know, commute back to work and get home and be exhausted. Like I had all this extra time and I needed a distraction. So Instagram was, you know, a way to get my mind off of COVID and <laughs> to just keep me busy and creatively engaged. Um, and I looked back and actually this time last year, when I'd started that Instagram up again, I had like 500 and something followers and now I'm at 1030 something which is still crazy to me I know I know it's not a lot compared to a lot of other people but hey this is my journey and no one else's um you know what 
for fun, we're, we're going to go in here. We're just going to briefly look at my first plan with me. Done. Okay, this is so funny because I remember this. You see how the desk is black now? So I remember, like, I was, y'all, I was stressing. I hated the way that the brown wooden desk looked in that first video so i was like i need some kind of like backdrop but you know the poster board was like reflecting under lights and my husband was like why don't you use a black bed sheet and i'm like duh so i have a black bed sheet on my desk and that's what i use and you can see the angle is still like slanted um funny, well, nails aren't done in this video because pretty pretty normal for me now, here's something too that I remember feeling when I when I did this was again, I felt guilt because I wasn't using happy planner sticker books. I found these sticker books at American Cra at American Crafts. I found these sticker books at uh Tuesday morning and they're actually American Crafts, which <sighs> last year was really something. Oh, <laughs> if, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I remember like feeling guilt for using these and not using Happy Planner sticker books, which is so stupid. From what I remember, this spread came out pretty cute. Oh my god, those scissors. Y'all, they were so bad. Hello. So you kind of see how this looked. Now let's let's go ahead to the end and see what it, what it looked like. I was so nervous. I remember when I did this, like, I was so incredibly nervous to do a plan with me on camera like it gave me so much anxiety i was like oh my god this is gonna look stupid and people are gonna hate it um it's pretty cute i like it it's pretty simple but i like it so you can kind of see what that video looks like and then we're just gonna go to um my most recent plan with me which was a month ago i should probably like get back on that that was a daily one so this is before i changed my intro to my new intro Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a good old fashioned plan with me. Haven't done one of these in a hot minute. So you can see so that, that it has... it's brighter, um, it's more top down, the audio is a lot better, um, I'm more confident. So there's my newest intro that you obviously saw in this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So there's definitely, um, I definitely still have a lot of room to grow. Um, I don't like that my camera's a little bit shaky because of, and I see other like huge planner channels, you know, like big name channels that have thousands of subs that still have the shaky camera. So I, you know, but I would like to eliminate that. It's just the stand that I have. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see it's a little bit shaky and it, it does bother me. And I'm working on finding a fix for that without having to buy anything new because I'm cheap. I'm definitely proud of my growth over this past year. And, you know, to a lot of people, um, you know, you see these videos over here, like 408 views. And that's just, it was uploaded in the past day. Um, you know, 3,500 views, 13,000 views, 39,000 views. And... Then you see me, 48 views. Um, then you have Christy, 1 million views. <laughs> um, so I, I get really self-conscious sometimes about, um, you know, being a, like a small channel, but um, I do take this very seriously and I would love for it to grow. I'm gonna keep trying to grow it. Um, I'm going to just continue working hard and, in in my mind as long as i am making myself proud with my videos and i'm having fun that's all that matters and you know when you guys leave comments it means the world to me like so please keep the comments coming i absolutely love it i just i love when you guys leave comments um it definitely inspires me and you know being a being a small youtube channel is um it can be difficult because sometimes you lose motivation because you aren't getting the views that you would like and people aren't, you know, you're putting all this work into your videos and you don't feel like enough people are seeing it. But I just always have to remember that, you know, like I had a person comment the other day, um, 
saying that, you know, they thought they could get a lot of inspiration from me. And that's enough. Like that little bit, one person, that's enough to keep me going. So um, the comments really do mean a lot. The likes, the views mean a lot, but the comments really, um, really keep me going. So any small creators that you watch, anybody with, you know, less than a thousand subs, um, just leave them a comment, encourage them, because it can be hard. It, I'm not going to lie. It's, there's been some moments of really doubting myself and wondering, like, why am I wasting my time on this? Um, but I do really enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing my channel grow, and maybe this time next year, who knows? Maybe we'll beat a thousand subscribers. Who knows? Um, just going to put that into the universe. But I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported my channel, um, whether it's from day one or you just subscribed just now. Um, thank you. It really means a lot. Really, It really means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, thank you. You guys inspire me to, to keep going. And I'm going to keep making videos and I'm going to keep trying to improve my my setup and and all that i'm trying to bring you guys more content i'm trying to be more consistent with my instagram yeah so i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys enjoy my channel i enjoy interacting with you guys um i'm just gonna do a little shameless plug i launched a podcast very recently and the uh the link to the podcast is going to be in every description box and it's called Pixels and Planners, and you can see it here on the Anchor page. Um, and so it's about my two favorite things, planners and video games. So I hope you guys uh, will check that out. Again, the link will be in the description. And to start, it's going to be um, bi-weekly, so just twice a month. Um, I didn't want to overwhelm myself with doing a weekly upload, but twice a month. Um, really looking forward to creating more of those. I had a lot of fun recording so the day that you're seeing this will be the day before the next episode goes up. So the next episode will go up on March 27th, Saturday morning. So be sure to check that out. Um, and I did launch a Patreon and I, um, I haven't really like been promoting it. So I'm going to try to do better, but basically this will allow me to, you know, like I say here, uh, purchase planners and related products to review and use on my YouTube channel and Instagram, as well as upgrade my equipment to make my videos better. Um, yeah, so I uh, I don't have any patrons yet. Again, I, I just, I launched it and kind of ran and I haven't really felt comfortable promoting it for some reason, which is dumb. Just, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. All this stuff's in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for celebrating my one year anniversary here with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.